Good evening and welcome to my laboratory. What you're looking at there is uh, the Conrad Electro Jewel Thief circuit. This is a very, very interesting circuit. I, I like it a lot. Uh, it uses a 2SK170 uh, FET field effect transistor uh, and a toroid that has about, uh, well, his specification is 100 and on one winding and 4 turns on the other winding. I've got about 80 and 5 on this toroid. Uh, and if you think it's easy winding one of those tiny little toroids like that with a hundred turns of wire. Uh, maybe you've never done it. Here's my secret tool to do it with. Uh, at any rate, this Jewel Thief runs quite well. As you can see, the uh, green LED is, uh, is on, and that's not really uh, dim. That's not as bright as it could be, but it's not really too dim. And I have two voltmeters hooked up in parallel, and they're showing the voltage, uh, 254 millivolts, 253 to 52 millivolts, uh, are being applied to run that jewel thief and light up that LED. And uh, so one of the things that I wanted to demonstrate in this video is the difference between these two meters. These are both really cheap digital multimeters. This is a Centec model from Harbor Freight Stores and this is an XL830L that was donated to the lab. I don't know what store they came from but this one was donated. Um, they're similar in construction and appearance and you would think that they would be similar in quality. They are similar in price. They're in the seven or eight dollar, under ten dollar price point for those meters. Okay, so um, you can see with the DC power they're indicating fairly close to each other within a couple of millivolts. Now over here I have uh, this little guy. This is, uh, I guess you could call it a, a mini Slayer, a TK Slayer Exciter kind of solid state Tesla coil. It has an eight turn bifiler, Tesla bifiler primary, a 2N3055 transistor, and a little bit of circuitry, including a fast diode back there in the back. And I run it on 12 volts DC input from a regulated 12 volt wall ward. And this is a, an automotive brake light bulb that I have just dangling off both wires, just dangling with a conductive connection, dangling off of the top dome of that guy. And then this over here, of course, is the electrosmog harvester that's tuned to resonate with that. Okay, so let me apply power to the, uh, to the this, like that, okay. And now you can see that we have the electrosmog harvester glowing wirelessly quite well and uh, we have uh, now here's what I wanted to show you with the meters you can see that this meter is still indicating fairly close to where it was but this meter has gone is flipped completely out and it's not a it's not over ranging it's just gone okay we're up oh, there <laughs> there we go you see uh, see here, so this this guy is uh, crazy. These meters here, the red uh, Centec, they have a little bit of an RF shield uh, in the back side of the case that may be keeping that, keeping down the uh, response to RF interference. But this guy here uh, does not like the ambient RF. And then uh, finally, the final thing that I wanted to show was uh, this little. Uh, plasma ball here. Okay, so this is the, turn off the light see if that will work. Oh yeah. So this is just a, an evacuated light bulb and it's uh, running off of the uh, <laughs> cold electricity, the radiant electricity from the uh, 
tinsel exciter, solid state Tesla coil there, tinsel slayer. That's kind of neat, isn't it? Thank you for watching.